Alright guys, here's another video update of my uh, custom 3D printer build. I just got my uh, MKS TFT28 version 2.0 touchscreen in the mail today. It took me a little bit to figure out how to get it to work and I had to hunt down the right firmware because it didn't have the connect option in the uh, settings. So I had to hunt it down and flash the right firmware and now I got it to work on my ranch board. Um, I'll be doing some more upgrades tomorrow. I'm going to be replacing these mounts right here for the, the bed with uh, these. Um, they're just a temporary solution to my Z-Wobble until I can uh, invest in getting some um, linear rails to go up and down the z-axis on all four uh, corners um, but until then I'll be uh, using these um, I got this mount design off of uh, Thingiverse and then I stuck it in mesh mixer and modified it a little bit to suit my needs um, I got a uh, super glued on there with um, Loctite um, really really good it's uh I can't I mean I'm pushing it as hard as I possibly can and it's it's not cracking or popping or nothing uh, I sanded and I uh, used my Dremel to um, chop up the aluminum in there for the super glue to have something to hold on to like I said this is uh, a quick fix <coughs> excuse me to uh, hold me over until I uh, invest in some more uh, linear rails um, I have to get them in a uh, 600 millimeter length so they're they're pretty pricey so until then this will solve my issue I'll be putting another rod here and here and then hopefully it'll balance it out on both sides to uh, let it go straight up and down versus going like this because it's hanging up on the back side when it's going up and down um, all things considered it's coming out pretty well I gotta make a mount for uh, the touch screen um, I didn't really like the ones that were on Thingiverse it's not gonna fit my overall design I actually want something that's gonna incorporate the touch screen and the the power switch um, in this whole section right here um, well I think I think it's coming together I got my uh, little hatch down there for my uh, electronic components and whatnot it's got a cooling system um, I'm really uh, satisfied with the LEDs too looks really cool when it's printing in the dark uh, I think it's pretty badass but you know what you guys think keep in mind that uh, about a year ago I had no idea what I was doing and I did not have a 3D printer I uh, basically stayed up all night because I have to work overnight from uh, 5 in the afternoon to 4 in the morning sometimes 4.30 and then I got off on a, it was on a Friday morning and I came home and I mowed my lawn and I was super tired climbed into bed grabbed my phone to set the alarm and plug it in the charger and hit the internet button and Craigslist popped up with the first ad being a free 3D printer. Let me tell you, I jumped out of bed as fast as humanly possible and called this guy. He said I was the first one to call, so therefore I got the printer for free. It was a three and a half hour drive, but it was completely worth it. It was a two up, almost completely put together. All I had to do was, you know, put the board on and button up the wires and all that. And that was my, uh, first 3D printer. I actually uh, still have 
the remnants of it somewhere around here but uh I pretty much took it apart and used all the uh, components that I had for it for this I mean then slowly took components off and upgraded the motors and all that good stuff but uh here's the old two up well it was made out of a uh, MDF and then I upgraded it with some 3d printed parts and once you start upgrading you never are satisfied and I wanted something big enough to print a uh, Iron Man suit and I decided I wanted to try my luck out with a bigger printer and then I came across um, 3D Eclipse videos online and I decided I wanted to play around with different configurations and I got a ramps board and I tried the HBOT and then I went with this Corey XY setup and uh, I'm never looking back I tell you what it's it's been an amazing journey up until now but uh, I got three more shells in the uh, shop that I'm getting ready to put together and uh, these are all for my uh, home based business so let me know what you guys think from uh, start to finish I've only been at this for about six months in 3d printing this build took me about three and a half four months and uh, I think it came out pretty well for for a newbie in the industry so hit me up with some comments and let me know what you think all right till next time peace